No, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You only hurt. <laughs> are welcome to our tribe. Truly the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind, and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages, so as to find a better world. Leader? That would be Jackson, a man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion, the better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. It is a gift from the earth itself in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. May you find your way. Go past the flesh. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? Hey now, I might still be ten kinds of crazy. You don't even know me, and you can't tell just from looking. I could be friendly till she stabs you in the neck kind of crazy. Then where'd you be, smart Alec? All surprised and stabbed, that's where. <laughs> But I'm not a vegetable, so I'm sane enough. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. 
as in he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. It's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually, just not quite yet. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Sure, fine. Why not? I'm planning on ditching this place anyway. If you're about to cause trouble with Jackson, all the more reason. His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. When you find that old idiot, tell him thanks for all the punk I could steal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's stabbing time. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. You infiltrated those tribals yet? And you didn't go 
track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Back to business. <laughs>